Welcome to Tiger in the Kitchen. Today's recipe we are making stir fry prawns with curry powder or gung pad pong gari. Gung means prawns or shrimps and Thai. Pad means to stir fry and pong gari means curry powder. This menu is not only usually being cooked with prawns or shrimps, it is also very popular being cooked with crabs or squid and sometimes even with chicken. Without further ado, let's get started. Here's our ingredients. First, we need some prawns, three eggs, oyster sauce, curry powder, sugar, white pepper powder, light soy sauce, roasted chili paste or an unpicked pal. This one is mostly available in any Asian supermarket or Amazon, but still, I get it. For some of you, it might be more difficult to find. So if you have it, awesome. It's gonna add some extra taste to the meal, but if you're not able to get it, it's totally fine to leave it out. You'll still be able to make this meal, okay? Evaporated milk, same scenario. If you don't have it, using fresh milk is okay as well. Might not be as creamy as evaporated milk, but we'll get by. And I made this menu without roasted chili paste and just used the fresh milk before. Confirm, it'll still be yummy, so don't worry about it. And for vegetables, we'll use garlic, onion, celery. This is Chinese celery. It's smaller and more leafy, more commonly used in Asian cuisine. You can also use the celery that you can get from your local supermarkets. Just try using the smaller branches and leafy parts. Spring onion and red chili peppers. Prawns. If you already have them peeled and deveined, then good. If not, remove the heads. And cut through the back. Peel off the shell and remove the vein. The heads, we can keep them in the freezer for making prawns broth. We're gonna need a half onion. Peel and slice it. Red chili peppers, slice them. Spring onion, cut into about an inch pieces. Same with celery. Garlic, peel and chop them. Pre-mix all the seasonings. Can use the measuring jug for an easy pouring later or just a bowl, whatever you want. So first ingredient, we're gonna use the curry powder. We're gonna use three tablespoons in total for this cooking, but we're gonna add a half of it for this mixture first. Then roasted chili paste, one tablespoon. White pepper powder, one teaspoon. A couple tablespoons of oyster sauce, one tablespoon of sugar, three tablespoons light soy sauce. Now I'm just gonna give it a stir first to avoid a clumpy curry powder. Then we're adding an evaporated milk. Give it a mix. And add the three eggs. Mix them well and our seasoning mixture is ready.
On a medium high heat, pour a couple tablespoons vegetable oil. Don't need to wait until the oil is hot. We can just add the chopped garlic now. If we add the garlic when the oil is very hot, it will burn easily. Keep stirring until it turns golden and gives you a nice garlicky smell. Add the prawns, stir until it's halfway cooked. Add the onion and another half of the curry powder. We can add a tiny bit of water so it's easier to coat. Then we're going to mix them well. We're going to keep stirring until the prawns are around 80% cooked. Then add the seasoning mixture. Then we're just going to keep stirring time to time. And just right before it reaches your preferable creaminess, then we're going to add the red chili pepper, spring onion and celery. This is almost exactly like making scrambled eggs. Some people like it more moist and some like it drier. Once it's cooked to how you like it, then it's ready to serve. That's really good. I hope you'll try this recipe soon and will love it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next video. สวัสดีค่ะ